I never forget. Like I always tell, I'm gonna share it with you because it's a lot of things from that night I keep to myself because it be priceless to me. You know what I'm saying? But you know, you so epic to me, and you know, just you reaching out and we took getting in touch with each other. This the the platform. Like man, it was telling me like I'm just gonna give it to you raw and uncut. Like it just was a strange night that night. You know. When I, you know how you look back at the somebody past and you play back everything frame for frame, it's like, it was crazy to me. Because, me, like I say, Drew and them, like the way the, I get into how the outfit, the, how the spot was made in a minute. But long story short, we sitting on the crates. And uh, i never forget his phone rang. He had, he, he had fell asleep. We listening to going down through the mix. Long story short, he phone rang. He answered, but he dropped it. I pick it up when everybody with prime calls. I pick it up, and that's another thing, man. The man, I ain't never seen the man pay a bill. His phone never was out. Hmm. He used to always say, "Man, I got a million minutes." Man, the man never, man. He said on the screw tape too. The only nigga with a million minutes on the prime call. You know what I'm saying? Like I never seen screw pay a phone bill. I was <laughs> with him every day, never. You know what I'm saying? That was crazy to me. But anyway, he dropped his phone. I pick it up, tap his leg, give him the phone back. He do the same thing, talking file out, so I get on the phone with whoever it is. They like, screw fell asleep on me? I'm like, yeah, pretty much, you know what I'm saying? They like, man, when he get up, hit me. Okay, boom, bet. I get a call, some little old chicks that I was talking to. You know, back then we said hype, that was the word. So, a hey, uh, little chick hit me, her cousin want to talk to Drew. So I go tell Drew, woo, 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 you know what I'm saying? Drew like, that's a bit. So I tell, this one, it gets strange to me. I tell screw, I'm like, Man, we supposed to go dip, we got some hype. He like, for real? I'm like, yeah. He like, that's a bit, y'all coming back? I'm like, yeah. So when he hugged me, he hugged me, he grabbed my shoulders, you know, he's shorter than me, he look up at me like I love you. Hmm. Like I love you too. He like, nah, I love you for real. So I'm like, in my head, I'm like, maybe it's just, you know, we've been sipping, and I'm like, maybe I'm just tripping. He do the same thing to Drew, same way. Jumping a matter of fact, me and Archie Lee, me and Archie Lee had both had the same car. We both had Thunderbirds, the two dope Thunderbirds. So uh, I jump in the bird. Like the way I tell you, the way the back made, he got the door open. We at the back side back there with the gate that to separate the sound waves and all that in the back side of the building. He just standing in the doorway, kind of standing at us. I don't say nothing to Drew, but in my head, I'm like, this is weird. You know what I'm saying? We burn, go do what we do. So I had to come back up 59. I was staying by Highway 6 in Bel Air. So we had to pass back by there mm -hmm. to, to go get to back the spot. Over there. Mm -hmm. At the time, you know, I'm with uh, my oldest son, mother. So it's like, Drew like, I mean, yeah, Drew like, man. I'm like, you want to go mess with Screw? He like, nah. He like, man, sis going to kill you. I'm like, bitch, you know what I'm saying? We dipped to the house. So I dip, kept pushing, get to the house. I leave, I leave Drew my phone. You know, cause BM, she gonna be going through the phone, this, that, it's already by four, five in the morning. So I get in, I lay down. You know how you feel like you just laid down? It like, I feel like I had just hit Drew beating on the door. Boom, 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 boom. He like, y'all good? I'm like, yeah, he like, uh, open the door. I'm like, the door open, he open the door, he on the phone with feet. He like, man, mama say screw did. I'm like, man, come on, man, we just left screw. You know, they didn't say it that one or two times. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, man, we just left screw. He throw me the phone, my fee on the phone. She like, man, slide over there and go check on my dude, man, for real. Like, see what's up. Like, ain't no, this ain't no gossip. We slide back over there. When I pull up, I ain't gonna never forget. The whole screw had two weights in the funeral. It rained the whole time. Like, not just hard, but drizzle. I never forget that. So when we pull up, it's drizzling. I see the corner van. I'm like, it's too cold right here. So Chris Cooley come to the window. Right now it's too it's too serious to press him about the logistics on what happened. So he like, man, screw dead. I'm like, man, come on, man. He like, man, screw dead. I'm like, so fast forward time, a couple of days, I'm actually cause that night, me, Archie Lee, uh Big Al, Big Al killed himself later on. But Big Al, who was Big Al? Big Al was the SUC. That's who uh, on the on the screw when, uh, when Kiki say, uh, Al got the street sweepers. That's who Kiki talking about on this song. On when he say that on the freestyle, you know what I'm saying? Al ran with Ron G, 
Ron G then was behind the dead end. KK Ron G all then was behind. Is that, the dead Al, end is that the same guy as LB? Is it the same guy? Yeah. Or it's different. Yeah. Pair of home pimps, yeah. Yeah, same guy. Yeah, I'm saying so. You said he killed himself. Yeah, Big Al. Yeah, Al shot himself in the head. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That was like 2001. You know what I'm saying? He shot himself in the head. So this is not long after Screw dies. Then yeah, the Screw died November 16, 2000, and uh, I was gone. I had I had went did two years on a three year sentence at that time. So in between the time I was gone. And me coming home, he killed himself. Uh, but me, him, Archie Lee, and Drew, and Al D, Big Al, Al D, Archie Lee, me, and Drew slide up to 97.9. And uh, that night, because that was early in the morning, probably about, you know, when the sun started coming up. You know how long they do the homicide type, I mean, not homicide, the uh, uh, investigation uh, when somebody died type stuff. So. Uh, that night though, we slide up there, and you know they talk to Mad Hatter and do all that. But um, I finally catch up with Chris Cooley. I'm like, "What's good? Like, what happened?" He like, "Man, y'all live." And cause that's at a minute where you hear different rumors about somebody supposed to poison screw or somebody put some in his drink and all them different rumors. This how this come around because when he he say when we live, you know. You know, Fief say that he called her. He was supposed to come by there and holler at her. He never made it. So Chris Cooley said when he left and came back, you know, he went and did whatever he did. He came back. And like I told you, the front part was made like an office. Because he was supposed to do SUC Entertainment. Like when Manny and them, while I was gone on his, uh, the bid I just came home on, Manny and them started the second generation. That's what Screw was supposed to do anyway. Because I remember one, I remember the last thing we did together that I can remember, like just like moment wise, like I'd never forget was Mo shooting a man video. You know what I'm saying? We was all together. So it was like, um, I'm telling Screw, like, cause to, in my eyes, even though I'm really not from born and raised in Houston, but in, after a certain age, who really is? Like everybody moved from somewhere else, somewhere they family moved here. I'm telling him, like, to me, like, no disrespect, like, D-Reg them, like, why is you letting this boy grab everybody? D Red from Beaumont. You let him grab the whole SUC. I never forget what he told me. He was like, he grabbed his piece and said, You see these two letters? I'm like, yeah. He like, it say DJ. I'm like, yeah. He like, you know what they stand for? I'm like, what's up? He like, this jockey. He say, that's what I do. I let the world know who next. He said, I ain't ready to run no business right now. He say, Donnie Houston. Donnie Houston. Donnie Houston. Donnie Houston. Donnie Houston.